The Year of the Dragon event has just gone live and you can earn rewards just by getting XP. And if you can make it all the way up to 573,000 XP, you'll earn the final reward of the Dragon Scales camo. So let's go try to unlock it. Let's go ahead and throw a few of these on before I forget. And you might notice I have a little bit of a weird weapon selection. I have, I don't even know what this gun's called, to be honest. I just know it's a battle rifle, the DM-56. Normally I wouldn't use a weapon like this in game. I have used the Stalker a few times though, because it does do a decent amount of damage. But I'm using both of these weapons because there's weekly challenges for them that give out a good amount of XP for completing them. And for the Stalker one, I just need to get 100 kills with a scope sniper rifle. Well, a recommended scope sniper rifle. So they're mainly saying use a Modern Warfare 3 weapon. Because I'm pretty sure every Modern Warfare 3 weapon has a little recommended fire thing next to it. And I have this DM-56 here because I need to get 250 kills, I think, with a recommended battle rifle that has cryo freeze on it. And if you were paying close attention, you also might have noticed that I was already at 250,000 XP. And that's because I've been trying a few different methods here and there, seeing what gets you the most XP, the most bang for your buck. And I started with multiplayer and that was pretty decent. I was getting between at a low 11,000 XP. And that's for like a poor performance. And this is in horde point, by the way. And then I was getting upwards of like 22 to 24,000 XP per game, which is not bad, but I have to play really, really well to get all the way up there and i think i was also completing some other challenges like i was getting camos for some of the new weapons in it so i think that definitely had an effect on how much xp i was getting there and then i went ahead and i hopped into plunder which is a, a mode i used to use for leveling up my weapons it was like the old strategy of hopping in there trying to get as much money as possible and then going to the buy station and just buying armor plates until you're out of money and you get xp every time you buy something but that has been patched somebody told me that in stream and I thought they might have just been talking about weapon XP, but it's just all XP in general you don't get from that anymore. And then I played a bit of zombies, and when I played one game, I got up to 96 thousand XP. I also had to complete a few challenges during it, and I did unlock a few camos, but that was a little bit more XP than I was getting for playing multiplayer. And I play multiplayer for a full hour. So it was like five, maybe six games of Horde Point. But to me, zombies felt a little more consistent because it didn't really matter how skillful I was being or how well I was doing in the game. I feel like I'm a bit more consistent in zombies. I, I, I may be ass. My aim might be terrible and I might go down a few times, but I can just kind of chill in tier one if I really need to, if, I, if I'm doing that bad in this game. But the way I see it, there's just so many other ways to get XP just in zombies. You can get XP from killing the zombies. You can get XP from completing contracts. You can get XP from completing challenges. And I feel like it's just a little more fluid than playing multiplayer. Because after every single game, you're going back to the lobby. You're sitting there waiting to reconnect. There's the whole map voting thing. And it doesn't take that long, like in between each game, but it adds up. And I'm not the most patient man. So my strategy is I've been hopping in here to zombies. I've been trying to do as many contracts as I can. I've been trying to do them as fast as I can. I'm also trying to get as many kills as I can on top of stacking like these weekly challenges and doing, you know, whatever. And just for efficiency sake, I hopped in here with Rick Grimes. This is an operator I didn't have anything on. So I want to try to set this up as well. And I also brought some stuff in that I forgot about. Let me use this. Let me get our sniper to purple tier and pack a punch it because this is going to be our boss killer. And we'll get this to blue. And this should get us a few extra bucks right here. Nice little two shot kill. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, a little two plate vest and a pack of punch crystal. Well, my goal right now is to get set up at least enough till I can hold my own in tier two because I'm going to do some contracts there, try to build up a good amount of money because when you exfil all the money you have, it gets like rounded down a decimal point and that becomes XP as well. So I want to get as much money as possible. And because I can do some other contracts like a tier two outlast and that'll spawn some elites for me. And you get a little bit more XP for killing those elites. This was the same exact bounty we just did. Spawn in the bathroom and it's a mimic. Where are you hiding at? You in one of these stalls? There you go. Same spot. Lele. And I almost forgot that I had another weekly challenge where I needed to get five headshots on Merc. So let me just Chris Kyle their shit real quick. Hold on. There we go. Zombie, this ain't about you. Stay back. There we go. That's it. We just needed to get to 25 and I only had a few left. Might as well take them all out. We'll get the extra XP for completing the camp. And maybe they'll have a medium backpack for me. All right, we cleared it out. Accuracy might have been a little shoddy there. I'm more like uh, Kyle Chris. Chris Kyle's nervous cousin. Where are they hiding this Merc crate at? There it is. No medium backpack? Wait, that's not it. That's got to be it. Still no medium back. Oh, it was a tier two vest that they keep. Whatever. But we do got an outlast right next door. 
Let's clean this really quick. We can collect some of these zombies bones too for the event, but I already finished it earlier today. I was over here getting boned up. My hands were full of bones. So many bones, I could barely grip them. I was double handing them things. But I'm just doing some of the more boring weekly challenges right now because I did the easier ones. I think there's one for just getting one shot kills with a shotgun. If you, all you got to do is load in with the Lockwood 680 and it's just a breeze. But now I think we're ready for tier two. We don't quite have the stuff for it, but we don't really need stuff to do some cargo contracts. And I got two self revives. I think that's a good enough parachute for us if we end up making some mistakes. And I got to rob every cash register I see. No money is being left on the ground. Actually, there's probably gonna be a bit of money left on the ground because I'm blind. Speaking of which, let's see what we got in this nest. There we go. Cleared it out. We got a lot of zombies in here. Time for some collats. Woo! Let me out. Let me out, please. Ate the shroud, and I still went down. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I needed multiple self revives. I try to prepare for my own dumbness, stupidity. That's the word. You can only prepare so much. I'm a low IQ wild card. What do we get from that? A whole lot of nothing. We gotta keep moving. I don't see any cargo contracts nearby, so we got to see if we can take out a tier two bounty. I think our sniper might be able to handle it. This thing does insane damage. Where are you hiding at, Mangler? I just want to talk. There's our guy. Broke his helmet clean off. Ooh, but he is not very happy about it. He doesn't have much time on this earth to think. One more. There you go. See you later. Give me that backpack. Ooh, and there's an Outlast contract right here. Oh, we can do it. Gonna be a bit risky, but we can do it. The extra cash will be nice. Worst case scenario, we just try to uh, avoid all damage throughout it. We don't have to kill everything that comes by. We just gotta run. Oh no, is this a stronghold too? It's gonna be a little extra difficult, but fuck it, we ball. We just gotta hurry up and take these cysts out. Where are the rest of the cysts? Back here? They gotta be. There we go. That's one, two. That's a down. That's not good. I don't think I have any more self revives. Yikes. I don't know where this last one is, and there's only one entrance, one exit. Oh, I knew this would be risky going into it. I took that risk. We made it outside. Whew. There's another player here, just in case. Help me out, dude. Save me. We got it up to like 80%, though, just trying to move around in there. Oh, no, this guy's down? Shit, dude, I was relying on you. This is a bad place to go down at. I threw a decoy. We got him up. I'm the greatest. You owe me. You're in debt. You're gonna have to get me up when I go down. Let's go back in here and finish what we started. Because if we can find this last cyst, there might be a self-revive in one of these chests. But where is it? Oh, here it is. Got it. Self-revive, please. Give me that large backpack. Give me that cluster of mine. Self-revive, though, is what I really want. You got one for me in here? Nope. Cashmere, though. That's not bad. And that's a mimic. I should have known. There's no outline on it. But we finished the event. What about our main reward? Napalm burst. That's all you got for me? Now, we got a decent amount of money, but we're going to have to spend a little bit if we want to keep earning some. I spend money to make money. Let's buy two self-revives. I think it's worth it. And I don't think I'm going to spend the money to pack a punch our gun up to pack two. If we find a pack two crystal, I'll use it. But that 5,000 is important right now. Let's try to make our way over to these cargos. Why are these rewards sucking so bad? I'll even just take self revives. Come on. Do we have to go to tier three for this? Is there anything worth doing? There's an outlast contract, but I don't know if that'll be by a deadbolt turret. So I guess we'll just have to stick to tier two. Let's keep doing bounties. We somehow still haven't hit our 100 kills with a sniper or our 250 kills with our marksman. But even if we don't... Oh, there's our 100 kills with a sniper. Speak of the devil. And that's five weekly challenges. So we just unlocked our aftermarket part too. I was about to say, even if we don't complete them right away, we'll still have time like during final exfil. Or actually, should I do the Dr. Jensen mission? Is that still good? We might have to try that out. I haven't tested that for XP in a while. What are these guys doing? Bro's not moving. Is that the AFK spot? He's taking a shit. Enjoy your shit, pal. Now let's do one more tier two bounty. And then I'm gonna go dip my toes in tier three and put these turret circuits to use. Because when we go to that Dr. Jensen X fill, there's already guaranteed turret circuits on that map. I'm just a little scared that they might have patched that method, but I guess we'll see. Come on out, Mimic. Oh, there he is. Ooh. Let go of me. There you go. Sit. Oh, and there's PhD. I think they finally fixed it. All right, now let's go 
try our luck and test our fate over here. There's an Outlast contract right here, and I think I'm going to pick it up. Oh, no. The Deadbolt turret circuit's over here. Actually, you know what? We can make this work. Let's start this up. And let's see if we can't get the zombies to follow us over here to the turret. Okay, we're going to have to Aether Shroud. Let's throw these in. Let's do two of them. Let's hope this works. Oh, look at that XP. All for doing nothing. I'll even throw down a cluster mine just to be extra safe. This is overkill. I guess we're not really getting too many spawns over here. Oh, well, that might have been a huge waste of those circuits. Damn. If only we had the turret spawn right outside this building. You would have been in the clear. I can kind of stand right here, though, and it's taking care of them. This ain't bad. We're surviving. It's even giving me my Aether Shroud. This is just the laziest way to do this, but I'm committed. I'm gonna wait till this turret shuts down, and then I'm just gonna cancel the contract, and we're going back to tier two. I'm cutting my losses. Oh, did the turret shut down? All right, we gotta get out of here. Let's try to figure out which one is uh, the Dr. Jensen Expo, though. I think it's just this one. Oh, we should probably get there soon. It's right next to the Aether Storm. But no reason why we shouldn't make money on the way. There we go. 36,000. That ain't bad. Not at all. Oh, I think we're getting here just in time. The storm's almost touching it. Let's call it in. Now, the area we're going to, all the zombies are going to be tier two, but I think we can handle it. I think we'll be all right. And what's our XP at? We got 12 minutes left on it. I'm just going to pop another 30 minute. Oh, come on, helicopter. Get here. These zombies are too strong for me. These are tier threes. Get on the decoy and leave me alone. Uh-oh. The zombie's coming with us. Stay back. We should have got a good amount of XP from that. Let's see how much we get from Dr. Jensen. All right, we're coming, Dr. Jensen. Don't you worry. Ooh, picked them off. Picked him off, too. Nobody's safe. And him. Did I just watch that? Oh, no. I'm seeing shit. I thought that turret circuit disappeared before my eyes. But that was the first turret circuit location right there. I think our next location is right down here. Here it is, right on top of here. Eh, just to clear up some inventory space for another one. Let's toss this bad boy out here. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. Nice ambush. Idiot. Quick scoped. Next. There you go. Thanks for playing. Out the window with you. And can't forget our sniper buddy up here. Later. Let's hit the comm tower. And I'm not sure of every single turret circuit spot, but I think we'll have enough to make it through. Have we really not completed this challenge with cryo freeze yet? Or did I choose like a marksman rifle instead of a battle rifle? Or vice versa? So I would not put it past myself to do that. But this is going to be the part that's going to be kind of difficult. Dr. Jensen, do your thing and do it fast. And we got another circuit right here. What do we switch out? I guess we can part with our uh, decoys. Actually, we can just equip those. And Dr. Jensen's going to have another one in her room sitting right there on the desk. Let's unlock the deadbolt, get in here, pick up that. Let's keep it moving. Come on, we got to keep moving, lady. Oh, there's another circuit in here. We're chock full of them. See a speed cola. I don't think that one's guaranteed. That one was just luck. But there is a guaranteed one in this room right here. Give me those. And there might be another one like right over here. Yeah. Okay. So I remembered a few of them. I think this is more than enough though. We just cannot touch the helicopter that comes in at all. I'm pretty sure it's going to be unlimited spawns. At least it used to be. So let's just throw in all of the circuits we got. All we got to do is chill up here. Let's hope they didn't change anything. Now the helicopter's here. Jensen's getting in. Look at that. 1300 XP right there. And we've gotten up to 44,000 points. They're just raking it in. And it doesn't look like they're taking off. We can just chill here. I can't wait to see our XP when we're out of this game. I'm going to sit here and milk this until I'm fully out of circuits. And we still got four left. Honestly, I could probably just AFK this. Actually, I think this corner's pretty safe. You know what? We're still ranking up. I'm about to watch something on my phone while this gets kills for me. Oh, might have to shoot a, a zombie here and there, though. Oh, our turret shut down. Well, let's fill it back up. Now it's freshly filled. I'm going to go pee. Let's hope uh, I don't die. Oh, no, I heard myself go down. Whew. Still wash my hands, though. They're clean. Oh, and our turret's finally done. So you got a good, like, what? 30 something minutes out of it? Let's get out of here. Now, if only we could skip this cutscene. These cutscenes and stuff are so fun, though. I can't believe we're not really getting that many act missions. We got three acts full of missions. Act four was just one mission. And now act five, somewhere around mid-season, is just going to be one mission. All right, now show me my XP, please. This post-game summary right here is only going to count that last mission we just did, the Dr. Jensen mission, because it counts it as two separate games. But when we get out of this game, we'll see the raw amount of XP we got. 
Even from right there, that was 57,000 just from the Dr. Jensen mission. Okay, so before the game, we're at 247,000 and now we're at 372. Oh, damn. Look at this. 125,000 XP for that. That's pretty good. And we're only two tiers away from getting the camo. Let's get back to it. No, oh, I was just playing an entire game trying to just see what the base XP would be without double XP and I crashed with two minutes left. Oh no, I didn't crash actually. Lost connection to host. Oh, I hope I still got XP from that. If not, I'm gonna be pissed. It did let me keep the stuff I went in with though, so... There's that. And we kept our XP. Uh, we're at 420,000. So in editing, I'll do the math here and show you how much I got for just one full game, making it basically all the way to final X fill with no double XP. Okay. I went all the way through and did it again. No double XP, but I grinded like crazy. Got 91,000 points. We got 17 POIs, 81 loot containers, 22 contracts, six activities, 893 zombie kills. 10 mercenary kills and whatever the rest was. And I completed these challenges. So that's a little bonus on top. We got 53,000 XP from that. And that puts us just about 100,000 short. So one more game with double XP and we should have it. All right, moment of truth. Did we get enough? That's 67,000 just from the Dr. Jensen mission. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Perfect. This is definitely not meant to be done in one day. But I don't have a life outside of this. Let's go see what it looks like. All right, this is what our dragon scales camo looks like in game. And it is beautiful. This is such a vibrant camo. This has got to be one of the better event camos they put out. It just looks so good. Really nice mashup of colors here. It just really pops right off the gun. And then here's a look at it on the tier where it's more of the secondary color. And there's a little bit of a pattern there. It's almost like the same scale pattern on there, but it's like embossed. It's got a little bit of texture to it. And just to see what it looks like on an AR, here it is on the SVA. It's starting to look like SpaghettiOs. Ooh. And on the XRK Stalker, it's so sick. The entire scope is that like mint green. This is such a clean combo of colors. But like I mentioned before, this is definitely not meant to be unlocked in one day. So take your time with it. But if you are trying to get it as fast as possible, the zombies method is pretty good and it's pretty consistent. If you got any double XP tokens, those definitely help out a lot. And if you're going to be playing zombies anyways, just hop in there, get what you got to do done, and then do the Dr. Jensen X fill. And then you can almost AFK it. You can just sit there, kind of half pay attention to it, and then just shoot whenever something gets close to you. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. So thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.